Welcome everybody, it's me, that one guy from one place at that one time, Jager110, and welcome to day 138 of NHL 24 Predicts NHL Season. Now, yesterday we had six games played and only got the first two of those games correctly, while the rest of the four are wrong. So that puts our full total prediction at 492 and 482, so yesterday did not help whatsoever. But without any further ado, we're going to go on ahead and get to our first game of the day down in New York between the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers. So see you all in New York. Welcome to Madison Square Garden in New York, New York, where we got our first battle of the day between the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers. As we go down to center ice, they got a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between New York and Florida, and both of these teams are tied at two. So, of course, we're going to stick to this action until someone breaks the tie as the Rangers are off sides. 21 seconds to go, face off in, in the neutral zone, won by the Panthers, who are on a power play for a little bit more seconds. As the Panthers are trying to get some offense going, as Montour trying to find someone open, slap shot one time, it doesn't work. For Hagey, get it to Montour, he takes a shot and it's not in. Still, Panthers are taking control of this, and now Goudreau steals it. He has might have a breakaway here. He does. Goudreau shoots. It's not in, and we're going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between the New York Rangers and the Florida Panthers. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. A goal here will continue on. A save will win it. Kyle trying to keep the Rangers alive, and he couldn't get it in, and the Panthers win in the shootout. And with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Toronto between the Boston Bruins and the Toronto Maple Leafs. But, <coughs> excuse me. So we'll see you all in Toronto. Welcome to Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, where we got our next battle of the day between the Boston Bruins and the Toronto Maple Leafs. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Boston and Toronto as both of these teams are tied at three. So of course we're going to stick to this action until someone breaks the tie as the lander steals the puck. And now here comes Toronto trying to get some offense here as Tavares dumps the puck into the Bruins zone. A race for it. Grizzly gets it for the Bruins. McAvoy in control. Get it to Pasternak. Goes into the zone. Trying to go across all five Maple Leafs and Tavares steals it. Nylander with the last seconds of the game here for the overtime starts now. Welcome to overtime between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Boston Bruins. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. <coughs> Marner couldn't get the shot off properly. Now he does and they score. Riley gets it in. And the Maple Leafs win this game in overtime. And with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Columbus between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Columbus Blue Jackets. So see you all in Columbus. Welcome to Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, where we got our next battle of the day between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Columbus Blue Jackets. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Vegas and Columbus as the Blue Jackets have a 5-4 lead against the Golden Knights. But here comes Vegas trying to tie it and Marlinskins makes a save. Face off inside the Jacket zone. One by Grandstrom for the Jackets but a lot of puck battling in that corner. And the Knights take out with it. Stephenson get it to March Basso. Martinez. Angelo takes a shot. Not there. March Basso scores. Jonathan Marchmissos ties the game for the Knights with less than 10 seconds to go in regulation. 9.5 seconds to go in regulation. Face off in the neutral zone after Marchmissos ties the game with his goal. Orinsky, Grandstrom, Danforth goes in. Goudreau couldn't do anything with it either. And we're going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Columbus Blue Jackets. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. A goal here will win it. A save will continue on. Stone trying to get that easy win for the Knights, and he gets it in. And this game is over. And with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Philadelphia between the St. Louis Blues and the Philadelphia Flyers. So see you all in Philly. Welcome to Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where we got our next battle of the day between the St. Louis Blues and the Philadelphia Flyers. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you 
in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between St. Louis and Philadelphia as the Blues have a 3-2 lead against the Flyers. So we're going to see if Philadelphia can tie this game here as they get in. Lafton goes into the zone, tries to pass it down, takes a shot, backhand, hits the post, and it's not in. Buchnevich running out of the zone, looking for that empty netter. He shoots and is too high. A lot of puck battle in that corner. Time is running out for the Flyers. The Blues have it. Krug shoots and it's not there, but it doesn't matter because the Blues win this game. And so with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game all the way down in Colorado between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Colorado Avalanche. So see you all in Denver. Welcome to Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado, where we got our next battle of the day between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Colorado Avalanche. As they go down to center ice, they got a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Colorado and Chicago as the Avalanche have a 6-2 lead against the Blackhawks. And I'm going to say this game is out of hand for Chicago here. So we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Calgary between the Seattle Kraken and the Calgary Flames. So see you all in Calgary. Welcome to Scotiabank Saddledome in Calgary, Alberta where we got our final game of the day between the Calgary Flames and the Seattle Kraken. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Seattle and Calgary as the Kraken have a 4-1 lead against the Flames. And I'm going to say this game is out of hand for the Flames. So with that, that is it for today. Check back in tomorrow to see these predictions are right. And with that, it is me, that one guy from one place at that one time, Jager110, and I will see all of you tomorrow.